Hey guys, Andy here. So regular viewers of my channel will be aware that I've lost a lot of weight recently. Um, I even did a video of it. I'll try and remember to throw it up in the corner for you to go and see if you haven't already. Um, but the main reason or the main way I've been doing that, or one of the main ways, there's two really, there's eating less, but also uh, cycling. So I've been out cycling a lot um, since March and generally the weather's been good. There's only really been one sort of week where it was really quite wet. And actually, I mean, I cycled through that still anyway, because I'm hardcore like that. Um, but even though we're kind of only midway through July, I've already started thinking about, well, winter's coming, the weather's going to be getting worse, what am I going to do? Um, and I've sort of looked into smart trainers, which basically are ways that you sort of, you know, you cycle on a machine or whatever, um, and it links into, I was specifically looking for something that could, I could link into Zwift. So Zwift, I'm probably going to do a separate video on at some point, but it's kind of a virtual cycling world. So you can cycle around London, you can cycle around New York, you can cycle around these other sort of made up places with other people powered by you cycling on your bike, linked into a smart trainer, passing all the information to your computer, your phone, your tablet, whatever. So, okay, that will look like a good idea, but um, how could I do it? How could I do it? relatively cheaply because I'm not sure how much I'll use it um, and then my next problem is my flat is not all that big I don't really have space for an exercise bike in the flat so it needs to be up in the garage which then means I've got power issues I don't have power up the garage um, which kind of narrowed my options down to the tax Bushido T-A-C-X Bushido, tax Bushido. Um, because that basically use the power that you generate through pedaling to power the smart trainer. So I can take my laptop or a tablet, you know, that's got enough battery that it lasts for a good hour or two, hopefully, for cycling. And then this tax Bushido will power itself um, to link into the laptop. Then I just need the phone that works as the hotspot that everything connects through to work with Zwift itself. So the tax Bushido, it was £270 on Wiggle when I bought it. Um, well, probably a couple of weeks ago now. So I'm gonna have a look there. It does seem to be kind of one of the cheaper options actually, which would me a little bit, because do you still get the quality? Um, well, and that's what this video is about. Mind you, having said that, it's really difficult for me because I've not really tried anything else. So I don't quite know how it compares, but I can give you my experiences of uh, buying this device where I didn't want to spend too much money in case I didn't like it. Um, but at the same time, still having a good experience. So let's start off by just having a look at what's in the box. So it's quite a big bulky heavy box obviously um, <laughs> and it's actually quite hard to get into you can see me making a bit of a mess of the box it's got this massive you know this massive big bronze staples it's got those all around it so uh, yeah, a, little, a little tricky and I destroyed the top lid a little bit which I wasn't pleased with anyway and very carefully I'm kind of raising the outer box out of the way hoping that nothing falls out and I don't damage it before I even get to use it there we go, and uh, you can see around the back, if I can get a grip, um, actually it's just the sort of the front wheel, uh, I don't know what you call that, wedge, rest, whatever. If I don't know what you call this bit either, so this is the main unit, this is kind of the, the dynamo type thing I suppose, the controller that the rear wheel is going to sit on. It needs a clamping unit to clamp it around to the actual frame, which is in this bag, and also a little sort of another axle you have to put through your rear wheel for it to be compatible to clip into the main frame, which I've got out here. You can see the legs kind of fold up on themselves, which is quite good. It means actually you can fold it away reasonably compact when it's all uh, when it's not in use. There's also kind of a manual um, and some information on the software to download. The actual tax software you can use to calibrate it just by cycling up to 40 kilometers an hour. I'm not quite sure how the calibration bit works, but that's what it does. And then what I realized, uh, I mean, everyone told me, but I actually realized in doing it that you don't want to use your regular road tires because it will literally sort of just wear them out very quickly. So I got a, this is an actual tax training tire for that matter. The training tires normally are sort of blue or a different color. Um, it's not hard to change a tyre, I've never done it before in my life, but I'm going to have to figure it out reasonably easily, watch out a few videos. And then we're basically ready to go. So we're going to hook the one side of the axle, and like I say, this is the axle you have to fit in yourself so that it will clip into the tacks. There we go, and the front 
wedges in the place and then you just clip the dynamo the controller onto the back wheel you can adjust it with the little dial at the bottom to make sure it's pressing nice and firmly onto the wheel because you don't want it slipping i have had that when you get to a hill climb if that wheel is slipping all over the place it's not good then when you get cycling now in this instance i'm going to show you me connecting into zwift you go to the paired units and hopefully you're going to see all these different things showing as connected um, I should point out the two, the heart rate and the cadence, are my own different devices. So I've got a um, Wahoo cadence sensor stuck on one of the pedals, well, on the arm, and I've got a Wahoo heart rate monitor, which will also connect into, in this case, my MacBook. But what that should leave you with is the uh, power source showing as connected and the controllable showing as connected, which are both the Tax Bushido. Um, if you're seeing that you're good to go what i would say when you're about to, if you're about to zwift off then just make sure they're all connected i joined a race this morning and i thought everything was going fine everything was paired up i checked the screen then i sat there waiting at the sort of start line i went off and grabbed a drink and came back and when the race started things had unpaired <laughs> so uh so i just sat there for like i don't know probably about a minute trying to work out what's going on and get things paired back up again um and it's not the only time that's happened it has actually unpaired while riding at one point i'm not quite sure why or what happened there um so yeah just be aware these things can happen i've only ridden in sort of three races maybe or three group rides um, and i have had issues in two of them so uh, it's early days though one of them probably my fault just leaving it and not doing anything for too long Anyway, let's have a quick look at some of the sort of technical specs. And well, I've only really got two that I think are worthwhile. So the max brake power, 1,400 watts. Um, cyclists will know, but those that aren't cyclists won't perhaps realize that the sort of power that you put out is measured in watts, and quite often watts per kilogram, as in how many watts you produce by how much you weigh. Um, so a max brake power of 1,400 watts is pretty strong. I think that basically is referring to how much resistance the Bushido can provide. Now the most watts I can kick out is sort of 700 or so, so 1400 should be plenty. And I can tell you, when you're, when you're riding on um, Zwift and it gives you a gradient and it goes up to sort of 12 or 15%, you really feel that, it really feels like you're cycling up a hill. Uh, it's quite an effective um, resistance and simulation I suppose is the word I'm looking for. I think mass inertia, and I'm a bit guessing here, and I'm more than happy if someone corrects me in the comments or explains it in the comments, I think that's kind of the reverse of the resistance. I think that's kind of giving you assistance. So when you come down the hill on the other side, it can go up to kind of 60 kilograms of something. <laughs> I don't know. So, But those are the numbers. Maybe if you're watching, you might know what those mean, and they're useful to you. But um, And as I say, please do explain them if you can in the comments. It would be much appreciated. Also, the Bushido it has it's got Bluetooth and it's got uh, or it is Ant Plus compatible. So most kind of accessories that you get, like heart rate monitor and things, are actually Ant Plus rather than Bluetooth. But the Bushido has them both. So you can perhaps just see at the bottom underneath the Bushido, there's a, there's a wire going into uh, a USB Ant Plus receiver there. But actually, I quite find that my laptop actually will connect to it with Bluetooth. So I'm not sure I need to have bought that. I don't think I did, but I guess better safe than sorry. Um, so those are kind of the technical specs as best I understand them. Next, we are gonna have a bit of a listen to how loud it can be. And I would point out it's weird. I'm fairly sure it's louder with the training wheel on. So when I had kind of the regular, uh, I mean, it is a road tire, but it's kind of, well, it's a hybrid tire, the one that I had on this bike before. I, I do think it's a bit more off-roady than other bikes that I have. But uh, with a train tire, I think it's a bit louder. Anyway, let's have a bit of a listen straight out of the, this will be the microphone from the camera that's filming right now. So it's quite loud, um, and I would imagine there's kind of a vibration that will go through. So I'm looking on the ground floor flat, um, and this room isn't actually connected to anybody either. So next door is the kind of the hallway. Um, but I'd be a bit more concerned if I was a flat in the middle of a block of flats, um, maybe the people below or either side. But it's not overly loud that it bothers you while you're riding.
I do love how when you're done, you can just clip the handle into place, fold it up, and off you go. That combined with sort of the no need for a power source makes it really, really portable. In fact, apparently some people use it as kind of warm-ups so before races and things. They take it with them to use as a warm-up. Um, paired with a laptop and a phone hotspot, that means you can pretty much Zwift from anywhere you like. For £270, I think it's a great purchase, especially if, like me, you don't know if your smart trainers are for you just yet. Um, it has got me wondering if I should be upgrading to, uh, in air quotes, a better one. And by that I mean a kind of wheel-off unit uh, where you literally remove the back wheel and the pedals are linked directly into the unit. Or even an all-in-one, like the Watt bike, uh, but you are then looking at a 1000 plus for that sort of setup. I will warn you as well, cycling indoors is very different, just if nothing else... Um, you take for granted when you're out on the roads how much the passing breeze cools you down indoors as you might have noticed in some of the video does make you sweat like anything but all in all the tax bushido definitely gets a thumbs up from me as kind of a rookie cyclist and hopefully this video has given you a bit of a, a look at what it's like do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but for now my name's andy i'll catch you all again soon Well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also come and have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum, come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests for me to review things or anything else, just come and have a chat on the forum.